Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Last night was a big deal and a tragedy at the same time. We got the 12th lunar wave, the second from our friend Randy in Houston. He filmed it at 9.20 Houston time last night. Unfortunately, I was filming last night, and uh, we had a guy burning a fire in the next yard, which was making, from time to time, viewing very difficult as all that heat and smoke was blowing in front of my scope. But the real tragedy is I saved a clip that ended at exactly 9.20, and I did not pick up filming again for two minutes. So I, did, I had the opportunity to simultaneously film the wave, and it just didn't happen last night, which is unfortunate. But what's a big deal about this is we predicted it. Based on what I had come to know and what we learned from Hattie Bow and the Russian research, I had said from the equinox up to Easter was a big deal and the time to film, and here it is. Uh, we caught the lunar wave once again just after the spring equinox. So, you know, the time is still ripe. If you have the ability and you're interested, go out and shoot the moon when you can between now and the full moon. Uh, which is not Easter Day by the church's reckoning, it will be the full moon a day different. Also, um, many people are starting to bag on my work. There's a number of astronomy sites that are just lying, um, saying that I used After Effects to make this stuff, um, which is a bit insulting, but it also is saying that all the people who have filmed the lunar wave, um, you know, there's seven people to date that have done this. So it's pretty clear this is not being done in After Effects. And we're just seeing dishonesty. You know, I don't understand this, that, so I'll just make something up or explain it away. And anyhow, let's take a look at this remarkable footage from Randy. And it's unique in a number of respects, particularly the amount of time that goes by in between the waves. All right, here's the general information. Uh, this was shot on March 27 at 9.20 Houston time. The unusual thing is roughly 40 seconds lapsed between the waves. The big deal is Randy followed the research and knew there was a prediction for waves between the equinox and Easter. Here comes the footage. I will cue you. It's coming from the bottom right now. And there it goes. All right, there is the first wave by. What makes this footage very unusual, and you can see Hattie Bow said, always in the third phase up till 2012 and associated events happening with the wave that I filmed in 2012. What's crazy about it is these things keep getting harder to see, and look at the spacing. If you saw the first one, would you sit there and stare for 40 seconds trying to determine what you just saw? I mean, what's going on here? Anyhow, in about 10 seconds, we're going to see the second one. I'll cue you as it comes in from the bottom. And there it is. So I'm going to load filters. And by the way, he used a diagonal with a prism, which is why the image is flipped. Okay, the first view we're going to take here is with only contrast and brightness. I'll cue you when the, the wave is coming in from the bottom. And here it comes now. There it is. And I have cut the 40 second interval down so we don't have to wait as long to see the second wave. Here is the cut mark and right here is the second wave and there it goes. And to be clear, this gentleman is using what's called a diagonal. It holds an eyepiece. There is a prism in there. That is the only reason why the image is flipped and I have not unflipped it to present it as it was shown. Here's color, contrast, brightness with channel inversion and here it comes. That's a pretty good view, and I'm going to run some other filters to see how much better I can get the view for us. And these are all in real time. There's no time manip manipulation. There was the cut, and here it comes from the bottom. All right. So there it is, and let's load up a couple more filters and see what we can do. Okay, so this is a, a find edges filter, and in the filter it's not inverted. Here comes the wave from the bottom now. And there it is. And look at that pulsating. This find edge filter is so ha uh, such a handy thing. And it's reminiscent of the energy pulse in the 2012. And here it comes from the bottom. But as I ran the filters, that's what struck me, was just the pulsating look that the entire moon has. And I ran this on just some footage I shot last night, and I do not get the same effect, um, though I don't have footage from this time, unfortunately. And here it comes from the bottom. 
Here is an inversion of the find edge filter and blended through to the original file. Here comes the cut, there's the cut, and here comes the next wave right now. <clears throat> All right, and we'll load up one more view with filters and then look at the thing in its entirety. So right here is an inverted find edge that's partially blended through with contrast and brightness. And here comes the filter right, or now, the wave right now. And right here is the cut in the file to shorten the interval. Here comes the second wave right now. Let's look at that pulsing, pulsating moon up there. It's crazy. All right, here it is in its entirety, coming in at the bottom right now. So this is just a color channel inversion using brightness and contrast to tune it in as you know as best possible there's going to be 40 seconds to watch the full footage here in between the wave footage but thank you so much Randy I mean I know how much work it is to sit out there hour and after hour trying to catch something but I truly appreciate that you understood there was a prediction for waves in this time and you went out and nailed it and it's unfortunate that uh, <laughs> I was not filming for two minutes that I should have been Anyhow, we're coming up on the second wave. This will be the final view that we take. And there it is, the 12th, wave, uh, 12th lunar wave captured. Uh, seven people have done this. This is the second capture from Randy in Houston. Everybody that has an interest, please go out and film. Up until Easter, the true full moon Easter, is the time to do this as predicted by my research and backed up by Hattie Bow. Cheers.